All right, let's go over uh, what we're looking at here. All right, so since we opened uh, a trading room uh, a while back, um, we've always been wanting to get in a direction where we can actually see the setups on a strategy that uh, that actually can show the setups in real time for you guys and gals that automatically pops an arrow, stop, trail, target one, target two, etc. So what I've done is I've built a strategy that um, that is going to be with all uh, that's going to go out to all the traders that actually lease the program with our current program that we have now. And um, there's no extra fee for this. It's just going to be able to show you um, where the possible retracements are. Now you can the settings that I have built in. You can you can play with the settings as much as you want. So. I'm going to show you what I like to do and I'd like to show in the room on the methodology, but I've added a lot of bells and whistles, whistles to this so you can really make your own strategy based upon any time frame you want to use. This works on all markets, all time frames, and um, because some traders will have uh, different risk tolerances than other traders, and some traders will trade off larger time frames, and some traders will want to scalp the market uh, more or less and trade off smaller time frames. So what I'm going to go over tonight is just the basics, what we show in the room and what traders have been trading off of with our software. And um, and let's let's get right to this. So the first step of doing this, we're going to get this out to everybody that leases the program. There's no extra fee. And you can run the strategy uh, on your own PC based upon the parameters that you put in. You can back test it all you want based upon what time frame that you want to look at implementing. Secondly, what we're going to do down the road is once you get familiar with the strategy, we're going to allow you to turn this on into uh, live accounts once you are familiar with it and traders have found out how to implement the program. So some uh, traders that actually love the program and are doing well with it um, and they want to go to the next level then that's something we're going to be going to do also down the road uh, for you. So the first step is we're going to get this out to you. Hey, Cameron, we're going to get this out to you and let you play with it. And um, you can, uh, it will not uh, trade live trades for you. We have disabled it. We disabled the program, so it will not trade live till you get familiar with um, a, tra uh, a system like this. And then it's more used for backtesting, watching it trade and sim, seeing where the retracements are, trying to uh, find... Uh, I mean, you know, trying to find your exact settings that you want. And then if you guys are willing to take the next step, then we will offer that to those at um, at a lease per month uh, with the program uh, out to those that um, have did their due diligence with the program. Okay? So that's the first step. First step, we're going to get this out to you, let you play with it. We disabled all live trades off of it. We don't want people just going in here and just trading like crazy with it is it we want you to get familiar with it and how it works. Let's first of all, that being said, let's first of all go over the system, what we what we do in the room currently. What I've done is over the years, the problem that we were having as traders of any system over the years and years and years of trading any type of market is when is the best time to pull the trigger? I mean, that is the hardest part about trading is when do you pull the trigger and when is your most optimal setup to put your money at risk on the most highest probability trade. And what I come up well, what I came up with is since these are electronically traded markets, I wanted to come up with something that shows when the actual speed is coming in the market. Because trading involves volatility. And if you don't have volatility in trading, yes, you can trade the trading range with market profile back and forth in a flat day. But but if there's no really speed backing your trade, if you enter a long position and it's not moving up, it's just flatlining, you're putting yourself at major risk. If you are in a short position and the position is just flatlining for 10, 15, 20 bars, you're putting your capital at risk again unnecessarily. So since these are all electronically traded markets and they leave their footprint uh, of when the algorithms out there, the the uh, all the uh, programs, uh, the high frequency traders, the professional traders, amateur traders, uh, more or less the algorithms that control this market because a lot of it is computer-based trading. A lot of computers control the market now. They're buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. So what I've designed is a trend box. 
and this trend box is very very unique in the past um, I had you know Fibonacci retracements and then with my dots and then uh, a few other things we looked at divergence and a few other things and those were nice and, and cool and everything but did it really show you when the market's going to pick up some momentum no it did not so when I started working with market Delta a lot and uh, market profile in general and I started playing with them together I came up with the trend box and the trend box is very unique because it will show you when pot potentially speed is coming in the market and that's when we need to participate so let's go over this right now and this is a nine Simrenko bar it's a nine Simrenko bar here nine Simrenko bar we have our own unique Rinko bar that has a trend filter built into it already so when these bars turn red or green um, it shows you a buy imbalance or sell imbalance meaning buyers versus sellers and then over here we have a nine Simrenko on the new algo that I'm getting out to all you guys so this is the same time frame on the S&P 500 this is S&P 500 we're looking at same time frame you got a nine Simrenko over here and I'll show you shorter time frames in a second and here's a nine Simrenko over here okay so that being said they're equal they're the same this is today's price action I'll take you all the way into the close um, this is what around 11 o'clock S&P start picking up some major action to the downside and uh, had two big moves down and I want to show you those moves how the system picked it up but so this is today S&P so let's first let's concentrate on this let's don't even look at the algo right now and let's concentrate on this first let's take a look at the methodology why is the algo doing what it's doing all right and then you're going to understand how you can set your parameters in and be effective with the system the trend box is considered uh, one of the most unique things that I've ever developed because now I know when potential speeds coming in the market and now I know a, a major leading heads up unlike uh, unlike retracements uh, by themselves when I had the Fibonacci dots they didn't really tell you when speed in the markets coming and so what the trend box does is say hey we got speed coming in the market on this specific time frame I want to look for the first retracement to get involved to have a high probability trade and that's why this indicator is one of the best indicators and if not it is the best indicator I've ever developed ever because what it's doing is it's not like the sim dots where they give you sometimes support or resistance it's not like market profile or give support and resistance but you don't know exactly when to pull the trigger or when speeds come in the market this will tell you when speed is coming in the market it actually looks at um, this is order flow trading and it will actually let you know ahead of time if the market is ready for a retracement trade and here's how we do it so I got red and green boxes there's green boxes they're red boxes here's a big move down into the into um, here we'll put this over here real quick so let, let's take a look at this setup and I'll go over the algo in a second also the methodology is very simple if you have more than four closed candles whether it be closed red or closed green inside of a closed trend box that's when this box actually closes then you are you are into a um, blow it up a little more so you can see it then you are into a consolidation mode mode so I call that consolidation before continuation so this is called consolidation all right that's not telling you speeds coming in the market because more than uh, four closed candles so this is consolidation before continuation all right so you consolidate oops let me get this here you consolidate before the continuation now what we can do is yeah I'm going to show you on the retracement so Cameron on how, how to set this up well let me go through this so well, what you want to do is you want to see consolidation before continuation so and you want to look for boxes that are less than four candles now in this type of environment it's been like this since uh, November really um, this is nine Simrico if you get a one candle close if it's a one candle close you got potential major speed coming in the market okay so one candle close indicates major possible speed coming in the market and this works on universal and all time frames so it doesn't matter what time frames you trade it just gives you a heads up that hey I got speed coming in the market I'm trying to break out of consolidation into a continuation trade so if I see a one candle close one's the best one you're gonna get and 
We have a lot of traders and members in the room that love to see a one candle close and then see it a full retracement for continuation, especially if your larger time frame is setting up your smaller time frames, which I'll show you how that works. So once this happens, once you get a one candle close, my favorite setups on any time frame is a one candle close or a two candle close inside of any trend box on pretty much any time frame. So if you trade, I don't care if it's a large, large time frame or if it's a real, real small time frame, you get a one candle close, it, it typically means that you're getting a real nice possible move in the market. All right, so you can qualify the trade then too. So once we get a one candle close, the market picks up some speed. You can see it picking up speed. That's how it's designed. So we got speed. The second criteria that we want to look at, and this is what you're going to look at in the algo and doing yourself, is down here is you want to see a full retracement. So you want to get above this 90% right there. So we want to get above a full retracement. Once you get above 90%, you want the candles to turn green because we get, we're not counter trend traders. We're going to go with the trend. Green, green, green. Here's your red reversal bar. And you can use market delta for a negative market delta if you want. Remember, I got a trend filter built into the Simrico bars. So with the system as accurate the way it is with the speed bars, just a red close on a bar is suffice enough to enter the trade. So that red candle close is an entry right there okay on the S&P so once it is entered your stop loss is two ticks above the swing high and I'm going to show you how you can alter this on the you can really change your parameters all you want this is just my basic way how to do it and I'll show you how the algo works so that is a full retracement entry then we have a speed bar again you can see here we have a speed bar that comes in right here remember one and two candle closes are my best it's going from consolidation, a lot of candles, into speed. This works really good on the S&P. And Earl, congratulations, man. He's just been cranking out the ticks in the S&P I mean, with this uh, setup. So nice job, man. He's been sending me his uh, totals. have been pretty incredible. So, um, But it's a two-candle close. There's a two-candle close. You want to come up to a full retracement. So here we are. we got to come above 90%. And then you look for a red reversal bar. Is that a two, 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 or three candle close box? This is a two. Two. If it straddles, it doesn't count. It, if it straddles the line, it doesn't count, Frank. Two candle close. Yep. But as long as you get four or less, I like one or two is the best. So then you get what? You get speed in the market, and here you go again. Once again. This is just a standard retracement trade right here, retracement trade, and then it got a retracement trade over here. As we move along, we get marked up. The market marks itself up, and I, uh, I want to show you this right here because Cameron said this right here. Watch. This is a transition. You see how it had three candle close on a speed bar? One, two, three. That's not two, so we never had really speed in the market. So. But if it's a one candle, like Cameron said saying earlier, one candle, if it closes a red trend box, the trade is nullified. You don't take it. So then we go back to our second phase down on the um, second phase down on the S&P. Let me bring my arrow over here. So now here's a second phase down. We have a two candle close after consolidation bar. This is a counter trend trade, all counter trend traders. Green, 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 green. Once you get a two candle speed bar, candle close, there it is, one, two, these don't count, they're straddling it, so it's one, two. Once you see that, what you want to do is look for a full retracement. We do not get a full retracement down here yet until right here. There's your full retracement above 90%, green, 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 counter to traders. Red close would be the red close of your bar, and then you got your setup. Speed bar comes in. This is my favorite setup, especially on the S&P on this time frame. If you see one candle closes on the S&P on the 9 Simrenko, remember, remember this is the 9 Simrenko. If you see one candle closes, it typically means that puppy is ready to move. All right. 
And then we have a full retracement again. There's your full retracement. It gets to 90%. Green, green, green. Right there's your arrow. There we go again. So now the opposite, if you go on the upside, is the opposite. If you see speed coming in to the opposite side, right here, you see a speed bar came in on the upside. Two candle close. Full retracement. It catches the corrective ways pretty good. Right there you go. So that's the basics for our trading. Now, if you want to trade a smaller time frame, it, it doesn't matter. So this is the smallest time frame that, that, that we like to use. This, is, I believe, is a 3 sim Renko. Here's a 3 sim Renko. So if you really want small stops, a 3 sim Renko by itself is around an 11 tick stop on average. Okay? Yeah, I'll show you, I'll show you Dave. I'll show you those in a second. So what you want to do is, is the 3 sim is the same type of methodology. Because if I see it go from consolidation, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, I mean, a lot of candles there, a lot of candles here, a lot of candles here, two candle close right here. Especially when it breaks the symmetry dots that our traders have. If I see this, if I see speed going through my symmetry dots, that indicates that you possibly got a major breakdown or break out, especially after it's consolidated, it's consolidated one, two, or three, or four boxes, one or four candles. Remember, this is consolidation. I don't care if it's green or red together. That's consolidation before continuation. That's why these trend boxes are very, very neat. It's consolidation before continuation. All right, so the same concept applies, though. So what we want to try to do is we want to do what? There's speed in the market. Speed. We're getting some good speed. Look at that. Two candle close, two candle close, two candle close, two candle close. Four back-to-back -back boxes. Two, 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 two. Break and support on symmetry from consolidation. We're setting up for a nice trade. We need a full retracement all the way to 90%. We get it this afternoon. There's your full retracement. Green green bar, green bar, negative market delta was actually right there at the high. And there you get a push down again. And then push, 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 push. We get a full retracement again. And you get another sell set up after the full retracement on the 3 sim on the S&P. Negative market delta happened there. Then we have another one. So you can see it works on, it doesn't, you can, it doesn't matter what time frame you use. I like the 9 and 3 the best together. The 9 and 3 are the best two together that work really well because the 9 gives me a big scope of trend. And when the speed bar comes on, if the speed bar, and, and here's a technique you can use, and you use this on the algo too. Watch this. If I see the speed bar come in on the 9 right here, let's say a 9 prints here. A speed bar prints right here on the 9, a one candle close. This is on the larger time frame. If I see a speed bar print on the 9, then I want to jump down to 3 and look for the first retracement. First retracement up, we should be good to go right there because the 9 is showing speed and it should really bring the market lower. Okay? So same way in the afternoon, same thing happened. Big consolidation bar. I love these consolidation bars. This is consolidation before continuation, and there's our speed bar right here. Two candle close. We need a full retracement. So you get the idea. It's the same type of setup because if you don't know how this works, how we trade this uh, in the room by seeing these charts, because you can stay, all you guys can stay in the room that, uh, and watch how this trades the next couple days on uh, Thursday and Friday, and you'll see what I'm talking about in the S&P and crude oil. We are keeping the S&P and crude oil all year. We removed gold for one reason. The market's so whippy right now that the S&P never used to be this volatile. But now since the environment, environment we're in with zero interest rates, with the corona, obviously the coronavirus, with crude oil and the metals and gold trying to break, I mean, you got so many things that are affecting these markets. The S&P is extremely volatile right now, which is great for us because the S&P, uh, uh, the slippage is not as great as it is in gold. Now you can trade gold on your own. If you lease the system, you can trade any market on your own, gasoline, heating oil, I don't care what you do. It's up to you. It works on all markets. But my point is, is that 
we're leaving the S&P and uh, crude together because they really work great together in the trading room. So if you like what you see over the next couple of days, just viewing the room, you can view the room by itself and watch the S&P and crude oil. Those two markets are enough volatility per week really to satisfy anybody's appetite. So that's my whole point is that it works on any time frame. So let's get back to the algo then. So if we go back to the algo then, Let's get this smaller time frame off. My point is it works on small time frames and large time frames. So let's go back to our cell setup and let's get next to the algo and let's answer all your questions here real quick. All right, so here's mainly what we're looking at in the trading room. This is in the trading room, what we have in the trading room right now. We got, this was live today in the room. These are the setups. The algo, you can program it how you want to program it based upon based upon your um, based upon the time frame you want to look at. Now this is a nine sim, so this is without these are all just retracement trades. What I'm getting out to you is without the speed bars connected and without the trend box connected. What I'm showing you right now, I have it set up to take all retracements, full retracements. All right, so it's set up right now to look at full retracements. So all these setups are full retracements. You can qualify these setups even further, which I'm going to show you in a second how to do. I'll briefly explain. And then when I get this out to everybody, we're going to have another members-only conference call. Members-only conference call, once you have the system, we're going to break this thing down. It's going to take us about two hours, um, but we're going to break this thing down and really go over this. But I'm just giving you the basics what this thing's going to do. So you can tell the algo picked up this move on the 9 sim. Now, here's a way you can do this while you have this in your hands. I told you that if we get speed in the market, that's the best optimal time to look at the market, right? So as you're, what I would do if I were you is this. I would set the 9 sim right beside the 9 sim on the algo. I'd set the 5 sim and the 5 sim right next to each other. And the 3 and the 3 right next to each other. The reason I'm saying is this. These arrows are automatically going to come up on target one, target two that you put in, and the trail that you put in. I just got a 15-tick first target, a 15-tick second target, just so you can see the setups, and then a 15-tick stop. You know, you can, you can make any stop you want and see how this works on back testing, any, anything you want. I made it real simple just for the purpose of illustration. So what you can do is this. Here's what you can do. Is you can actually, when you see a 9-sim Renko, go with a one candle close and we are moving down, right? Our one candle close, two candle close. That's the most optimal time to look for that you could actually turn the algo on and watch the trade set up. Or you can let it just run all day long and not even turn it on, turn it off. You can just let this run. My, my point is the best trades are when you get a one candle or two candle close. Now I'm going to show you how you can do it with the algo, how you could, you could only show trades with that. But if you want to see all retracement trades, that's one way to do it is just you can put the 9 sim next to the 9 sim. If you get a one candle close, that will show you when the optimal entry is based upon the algo, the setup. Once you get a red candle close, it will put a limit order in of one tick below the market or above the market if you're buying above the market or one tick below if you're selling. Or you can do two ticks. You can do three ticks. I'll show you how to do that. Um, but it will come up automatically. And that, that way you can get a feel for how it works with the 9 against the 9, the 5 against the 5. So my point is, is that you can program, I have it programmed out to you to take all retracements. Now I'm going to show you in a second how we can actually, how we can, um, we can narrow the trade down even further. Now if I go down to the 5 sim, I have it taking all the retracements. So in this big move down on the 5 sim, I have every single retracement at these swing highs, at a full retracement, it should look, see I've got the swing high, 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 swing, swing, swing. But I'm going to show you how you can, this is the 5 Simrenko. All right? I'm going to show you how you can take a lot of these out here in a second and only have a couple trades if you want just a couple trades a day. My point is, it's coming out with, it's coming out to you taking every single full retracement. And then you can narrow it down as much as you want. Okay, so that being said, let's break this thing down further. So if we move further on across, 
we go up, go up, and here we now this big move down over here. So it goes up, it catches the counter wave right here, it catches the counter, counter here, counter there long, caught this counter. Right? Because it's catching the counters too. That's the counter wave. Not a counter, the moving average crossed over. So it's going with the moving average, sorry. So the moving average crossed over, took the first retracement, first retracement. Then we get back into trend again. All right, so once we get back into trend, we move back, oops, sorry, move back over. There's our trend trade at 1436. That's our first one. So this is the, this is the viable one as far as in the room. This is how I teach you in the room. This one I teach you in the room. Right, so that's how we do it. Full retracement, two candle close, full retracement, full retracement. It will get these, I'm going to show you why it gets these extra ones. If you want these extra ones in there, it will get these uh, retracement trades, and I'll show you why. So basically, that's how you can do it. This, will, this system is going to come out to you looking for all full retracements. Now you can narrow it down even further. So we know how to trade the system by itself. So when you watch, what I want you to do is when you watch the system trade on the ES or, the, or, or uh, crude oil, tomorrow and Friday, watch this. And I'm going to train tomorrow on this again, but watch the full retracements. Full retracements, I, the easy way to do it is look for a one candle close. If you get a one candle close on the nine or three sim, look for speed, look for that full retracement and watch the market. Okay? Watch the market. You should see, you should see a nice little move up. Okay? So, let's get into the algo the algo so uh, like I said I'm gonna show you all four retracements this is the this is the retrace this is the retracement setups on the nine cent this afternoon all afternoon from what 11 to close these are all the trades what you can do and like I said members only will get this uh, I'll get this in detail for you this is showing this right now what I have get this out of the way What I have built in the system where you can actually qualify the trades even more, because remember, this works on all time frames. What I'm getting out to you is just the basic settings of this. You got a 20, 50 moving average. You can use any moving average you want, okay? It's only going to take right now with these setups that I just showed you on all those retracement trades that it caught. It's one of these based upon these parameters. It had a 20, 50, meaning it's going to go with a 20, 50 moving average. It's got an eight length double stochastic with a 60-40 retracement, so it's catching a lot of retracements. If you don't want as many trades, watch this. So 60-40, watch. Here we go, we turn on 60-40. That means you get above 60 cents, below 40%, you're at a full retracement according to some other parameters, it's gonna do that. If I just change this to If I change this, and I'll go over this with members and members only. If I go 99.1, I want the market really stretching a retracement. 99.1. Toggle it on. Don't have any trades, do we? Right? So you can find out the re retracement level that you want based upon how many trades that you want. And it will automatically fire when you want that retracement. So you can really build your own strategy. That's what I made this for. So let's go back in. Let's put that back in again. And like I said, we'll spend a couple hours with members when we get this out to you on how to do this. But it's really cool that you can really, you can make your own strategy. So we'll put that back at 60, 40 because it's catching all the retracements. Now, it says look back period. What the look back period is, I have it to one. The reason I had the look back period to one is because I only wanted to show when when we are at a full retracement at that last bar. I don't want to put if I put a look back at ten, it could look ten bars back on a small time frame and it could add a full retracement eight bars ago and it means nothing to me right now. So I like one personally. I, I want real time, I want it to be at a full retracement 
60 40 above or below at that time or 90 10 or whatever you like to use 80 20 you get less trades 90 10 will take a lot less retracements etc so that's what that means you can change as much as you want if you look at uh, um, if you look at uh, the, if you don't want to go with the 2050 you can change that if you want to take all counter trend trades and trend trades just unclick that I don't suggest doing that I've always educated with trend but I made that a lot of traders, if they see a corrective wave coming up, back inside market profile, they'll want to click that and try to get that big move up. So I'll put that in there. It says use cross. If you check use cross, uh, when I showed you all those trades, it did not have this uh, parameter put in. But if, what that means, if the 20 and 50 cross for the first time, I taught a lot of traders that first retracement is typically a big one. Or if the 5200 cross for the first time, that first retracement is usually a big one. Um, you can use that if you want. You can test that if you want. So I put that in there for you. Um, the, the second double stochastic, if you enable this, let's say you want to trade off of a larger time, I mean, you want to set a, a trade up on the 9 sim. So let's bring the ES over here. I want to show you this. So what that means is this. Oops, yeah. What that means, let's say the 9 sim Renko is here. I'm at, I'm, I'm at a full retracement. This is at the close. I'm at a full retracement right here on the S&P. So I'm at a full retracement, let's say, right there in an uptrend. All right, just crossed over, full retracement. But you don't want to enter off a 9 sim. You want, you want to enter off of a smaller time frame, let's say the 3 sim Renko. What it will do is it will wait. It will look for the 9 to get below your level that you put in on your full retracement. And then it will check down to a smaller time frame and enter the next full retracement on that smaller time frame. So you can have smaller stops that way by getting into a smaller time frame. So, and I'll go over this fully, like I said, all this stuff. I want to make your head spin, but this thing is so neat. Um, so you just click that, hit lower time frame, and you put a Simrico, and you can put any time Simrico. So what it would do, if you if you if you have a nine Simrico up and you want to do go off of three sim entries and you want the three sim to take the first 90 10 retracement oops down here sorry take the first 90 10 retracement just put eight in there then it would do that it'll look at the nine sim Renko and the nine sim Renko let's say you want to go above 80 20 first and then once it gets into that position then what you can do is let the lower time frame enter your trades you can do that. What I showed you today does not do that. It's just taking off the time frame that you have. That's a little bit more technical when you get involved with this thing. If you want real small stops, it's really neat how to use. We'll go over that in a conference call. I don't want to confuse you. I did not show you that that was not in the parameters on all the retracements. Um, I just had a standard retracement that I showed you. So that's something we'll go over. But that's, a, that's another filter I put in for you. All right. So Momo, what a Momo. If you click Momo. What a momentum trade is, is that a retracement has to be below a certain moving average. If you're in a hard trend, you want to be above an 8 moving average or a 10 or a 20. That means you're in a hard trend typically. That means when it comes with a buy setup or sell a full retracement, it's above at least that moving average. Traders like that because it's momentum. If you're usually above a 20 moving average, you're typically in a nice rise up or rise down. That's an option you can put in there. Okay, here's a time of day trading. You can uh, put it in the algo only trade during that time period. Um, and when you back test it, you can back test a certain time period. This is a trend box. Now remember, when I just showed you all these trades a second ago, all these trades right here, I just toggled it on for you, right? All these trades are without all these extra filters that you can apply. So all these trades that caught all these retracements at these swing highs. They're accurate by itself, just by itself, without even any of these filters being applied. By itself, it's catching all these swings. All right? But what I'm showing you can do is you can build your own indicator. Now what we can do is we can actually filter our retracements with the trend boxes. The trend box is right here. You can toggle it on. On a, all members know that if you, I, if I have a, Three sim Renko, I use a nine trend box. If I have a nine sim Renko, I use a 25 trend box. So let's say we're using a three sim Renko. Leave nine in here, okay? These are your target one. 
So I got the trend box clicked on there. Here's target one, target two you can put in, trailing stop loss. So if you want to put in, let's say, you know, put 12, 134, you know, you, then it will trail 34 ticks after that first target's hit. After the first target is hit, it will go break even plus one on the algo. So once you hit the first target, it's breaking plus one. If not, it's going to hit the full stop out. This is called stop offset ticks. I have two different stops. I have a hard stop you can put in, which I like to use, or you can do above the swing high or above the swing low. So you can, if you want every trade to be above a certain swing, you want two ticks above the swing high, just enter two. Entry, there's a couple orders you can do on the algo. You can do a limit order, or you can do buy the ask or sell the bid. No market orders are in this. What this will do, if you're buying, it will put one, it'll put a limit order one tick above the current price when the algo says to buy, or one tick below the market. Okay, if you want two ticks to, in fast markets to get fills, you can do two, three ticks in real fast markets. If you're trading really fast like gold, typically you need to do a two or three tick limit above or below the market, same thing. Order cancel bars, that just says if I don't get filled on a limit order, if I don't get filled on a limit order on the algo within X amount of bars, then that tells me that it's just going to cancel the trade. It does it automatically. I don't want to see a retracement trade that's at a full retracement 10 bars later. In other words, you don't want to not get filled on a limit order in the market tank, and then 20 bars later, 10 bars later, you come back up, and it fills you. We don't want that. So I put that in to safeguard us. Profit goal, profit loss. Uh, the algo shut off. Um, uh, so traders wanted this. Say if you have a $500 goal for the day, the algo will stop trading um, in whatever your stop loss is depending on your risk tolerance. Okay, the delta. What the delta means is you can actually have, after your first uh, trade is entered, you can trail it with delta. What that means is it's going to follow delta as a trail instead of doing a, instead of doing a trail up here on your trail. Where's it at? Oops. I added the delta in, a trail right there, added delta, because you can trade, on, let's say, off a, through, a, through a five Simrenko and have a nine delta to get those big long trades. That's what delta means. You can just go in there and put, okay, I'm, I'm trading off of a three sim, but I want to, I want it to trail me off of a, a seven delta. In other words, you want to get those big runners. That's what that means. BAP means the best available price. Let's say you don't want to do a limit order. If you click this, it automatically overrides a limit order up here, and it buys the first best available price uh, on the offer or sells the bid, buys the offer. So here's my speed bar. So once you click the trend box, the trend box will not work without the speed bar click. So let's say you want speed in here now. Now I showed you all those retracements. Let's say that you only want to look for, for um, boxes at our two candles. Here's what you got to do. And I think Frank mentions this earlier. Was that a two or three candle close? It's, it's going to consider the straddle a candle. Uh, I mean, not a candle. So you want to go one above the candle you want. Okay, so if you only want to get one candle closes, you want to put two as your speed candle. So you're looking for speed before any retrace. In other words, no trades will come up at all unless you're a two candle close. Okay. Um, on this one would be a one candle, so but two candle close would be a three in there. So that's your speed box. Here's your stop hard ticks, stop hard ticks. All that means is you can put any hard stop in and it'll stop out. If this is unchecked, it's going to go based upon your ticks. It's going to based upon your ticks, your offset ticks. Okay? So it seems like a lot, but if you just break it down into here to start off, I would do this. That's why I broke it down pretty easy. Uncheck the, the, the second one. Um, uncheck the trend box for right now, you know, just do a hard, you can even do 20, I'll do, I like 15, but we'll do 15, and then let's do this because I don't want to, I don't want to stop trading, I'll show you all the trades, so delta, uncheck it, so if I were to, if I had this thing going right now, uncheck this, this is the basics where you can just get started, right? And then you can filter your trades based upon if you just want a certain amount of speed bars. After you learn how to trade the system, you can start developing your own ind indicator. That's why we're adding this all by itself. And you could just play with it on designing the parameters that you want. If you want the same parameters that I have in the room, you can plug it in the same parameters that I have in the room. Okay, that's, It just doesn't have market profile built into it and, and so on.
Okay. So we will have a conference call, like I said, on this uh, with members once we get this out to everybody for members only. Um, and I will go in detail on how this works. And then you guys can hammer me with questions about all that stuff. And we'll, uh, uh, at the conference calls, uh, once we get this out, we'll have once every couple weeks just so we, we can understand and, and traders can talk back and forth about it and so on. Okay. Yeah, you can use chart trader at the same time. But, uh, you just have to have a different chart set up, David. Just set up a different chart. So what we want to do then is the next couple days, um, guys and gals, is um, the next couple days uh, we're going to just stay in the room and we're, we're going to go over the charts that you see in the room right now. That way you understand how it works. And then when you get the algo, then you're like, okay, I understand the methodology. I understand that that this is a speed bar. I'm going to look for a speed bar. So what I want you to do the next couple of days, watch crude and gold on the nine Simrenko in the three Simrenko. In other words, watch this here. Let me show you real quick. Let's look at crude oil in the close, on today's close. Here's what you're going to see in the room. And you start understanding this, you're going to do very, very well with the system. Hold on one second. So here's the three main charts I show in the room. I have a nine Simrenko. Nine Simrenko, this is, this is the close of crude. I have a five Simrenko right beside it. And then I have a three Simrenko. So when you view the room, and it, it's a lot easier in your own charts because I don't have a lot of room to show you on my screens. So I can't show a lot of markets, but I do show crude oil and gold. And I have them set up the same way, which I'll show you in a second. But what we want to do is this. This is a nine sim, all right? Your best trades you're going to see and find out are full retracements on the nine are typically going to be your biggest runs on the three and five. So if I get a full retracement on the nine after a speed bar, I'm really looking for a move up. So we had a big move up into the close on crude. There's my two candle close on the nine cent. Okay. So there's a two candle close on the nine cent. And red, 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 here's your reversal bar just for the nine cent by itself. So that's what you want to look at. But if I'm going off a smaller time frame, let's say this. I'll tell you this. This is, this is a neat way I like doing this. And I want you to watch this. So if I see a two candle close on my large time frame or a one candle close, and but I, I know I don't want to trade off this larger time frame. It's a nine sim ratio. Your stops are around 22 ticks at the swing low, two ticks below the swing low. They're way big. You know, you're risking $220 where well, you could risk $110 on a three sim entry, right? So how can we get in? A, how can we use a large time frame to get into the smaller time frame when you're watching this in the next couple of days? What you want to do, if I see a two candle close on a trend box on the 9 sim, my larger time frame, I want to look for trades off my 5 and 3. I want to look for full retracements. So the full candle close came at 1540. All right, our 1540, so where, where's the candle close at? 1515, sorry. 1515. So 1515, it came in here, so I want to look for a full retracement into the close right here off my small time frame because my larger time frame did what? That's positive market delta or wait for a red reversal bar, green bar reversal. This is positive market delta though and you get a nice trade on the 5 sim. So you can do that with a smaller time frame. So you can you can let the 9 sim set it up right here but then look for the first full retracement off the 5 or 3. If I did off the 3 at, oh, what time was that? It started going down below what? 1530. So at 15.30, it was at this low, right? So if I see this at this low, that's the low of the 9 sim getting below 10%. So my 3 sim, I want to wait for the first, first full retracement. Where is that? My first full retracement is not till right here, right? Because this is the low of the low of my 9 sim, and this works very well in all markets. I love this setup because what I'm doing, I'm qualifying the large time frame into a smaller time frame. There's your full retracement. And look at that market move into the close. It happens all the time like this in all markets. It's a beautiful looking setup. Your three, your nine is actually set up your three Simrenko. So what you've done is you qualified a massive trade with a larger time frame off of a small time frame with a small stop. Because what you're doing is, is you're qualifying when the nine sim is in an uptrend with the moving averages at a full retracement with a speed bar. That's the key. That's why I'm telling you, on the next couple of days, watch the speed bar off the 9 and the 3 Simrico. 
when the nine sets it up, the three and five have a real good continuation move. And you get second shot. You usually get a wave three and wave five off the three sim. Here's a wave three. Full retracement. Full retracer. Remember this. It's a real neat way to do it. In other words, let me blow this up into the close. This is where the nine sim bottomed out right here. But see, you, the nine sim crossed up. Let's see what time it crossed up. It crossed up on the moving average at, at 3 o'clock. So at 3 o'clock, it crossed up at 3. So we crossed up at 3 o'clock, right? Here. 3 o'clock, right there, moving average crossed up. Then the speed bar came in. The speed bar came in on the 9 sim. Right there. The smaller time frames came with speed bar. Look at the speed bars on the smaller time frames. It confirmed. Speed, 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 full retracement. There we go. All right, then speed bar here. One candle close, even on the small time frames. They are lovely. One candle close. Look for a full retracement. So that's what I want you to look at. A speed bar here. Full retracement. All right. Watch the 9-3. So when, you, when you're in the room, it's going to look like this. 9, 5, and 3. Watch the 9 with the speed bar. Okay? Watch the speed. 